Hi, Sam here with CAD Productivity. Welcome to Civil CAD Consultant's Express Tip on using civil geometry to populate the ALG. It's a very common myth that in En-ROAD Select Series 2, civil geometry will not keep your ALG up to date. Thankfully, that's just a myth. With a few easy steps, you can have civil geometry populate your ALG, and any changes made to the civil geometry will be reflected in the ALG. Let's take a look. In order for the Civil Geometry tools to populate the ALG, the styles from your XIN must be recognized by MicroStation. If I open my item browser and go to the Content Management category, I can right-click on the Content Management model and link the active feature styles. When I do that, you'll notice that it now recognizes my XIN file and if I expand that out you'll see I have linear and point styles. If I expand further for the linear I'll choose one that I'm going to use, the ALG Pro style and you'll notice that it calls it a feature in MicroStation. My feature definition includes the native style that it's pulling the information from, whether it's automatically annotated as I build the alignment, what the prefix of the alignment name is going to be in the ALG and the auto persist. The auto persist is very important. That's the one that needs to be set to true in order for it to populate the ALG. Now that it knows the styles, I'll go to my tasks and choose one of my civil geometry commands. I have to make sure that use feature is toggled on and since I have not set an active feature, I will choose the feature from the list. I'll create a simple line. Maybe I want it to be a distance of 2,500 feet. I'll accept that. And now notice that I have an ALG Pro 1 alignment based on the name prefix which is based on the name of the feature definition which came from the style. If I review that alignment you'll notice that it is a length of 2500. If I make a change to the alignment I need to do that with my civil geometry tools or my microstation tools because changes using the geometry tools in En-ROADS will not be reflected in the civil geometry. So for example if I needed to change the length of the uh, alignment then I simply go to my element selection, I choose the alignment, change the length, I'll change it to 3500, it modifies the civil geometry and if I review the horizontal alignment, you'll notice that it is also modified in the ALG. Thanks for watching. You can view more tips for MicroStation and En-ROADS at civilcadconsultant.com.